Hey everyone, Pablo here and welcome to a new video. One of the things I've been enjoying the most of my booktube journey is body reading. And at the beginning of this month, Massa from ba Massa Booktuber um, suggested over in my Discord server to do a body read of The Rage of Dragons by Evan Winter. And I had to say yes. This has been such an enjoyable experience and it really enhances the reading to be able to share your thoughts with people that are reading the same thing and are along the same part of the book this, that you are. So following the pattern that David and I um, followed in uh, for the blade itself we decided to do a mid-book review for a rage of dragons and since we were having so much fun we decided to do a group discussion with maza david and dan we're going to do different videos for each of the booktubers in this group discussion and this one is going to be a spoil filled discussion of ha the first half of the book i will put the link either in the screen or in the description uh directing you guys to the other videos enough yapping i hope you guys enjoy it yeah, no, I'm everyone's gonna die. Good. <laughs> Basically, <laughs> <laughs> you look the noble in the wrong way. You, you're dead. Yeah, <laughs> you <Yeah>. die. <laughs> Cut off. <laughs> yeah. So yeah. So we mentioned in the um in the um non spoilery video that we the, the beginning was a bit uh, not slow but just overwhelming, and um, I think it's because of all of this introductions of different uh, different words that we need to learn basically. Um, the 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 Ihashi and the Ingonyama and all that, um, but I like like we starting. It is often said that you need to start a story where the the like the conflict starts, and we begin with this civilization that has fled their uh, native land, and they need to um, to obtain a new place to live. Um, so that's where things start off. Yeah, and it's like as soon as we open the story, it's like they're running from something called the Kul, which I assume is just killing off all their people. So they arrive at this new land and then they think they have a good front line against all these, uh, against the native population. The but then what they don't have or what they don't realize is that the native population can uh, turn invisible and get past their lines. They exactly. also have gifts, yeah. Yeah, and then so right off the bat, we're learning about there's magic, there's dragons because they get overwhelmed, and then it's Fire. the first scene of the captain or queen that they have. She she calls out to this dragon, who then comes in and just burns everything. I was like, wow, like this is this is crazy good action right away. Was I the only one imagining um, Khal Khaleesi with Game of Thrones? Game of Thrones, yeah, burning all the shit. <laughs> 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 That's in my head what was going on. <laughs> but I feel like the, the beginning makes more sense towards the middle of the book. Like once you look back to the like the beginning of the book, like everything's like, oh okay, I see what they did then. Why why they were doing that. Mm. I also want to know, like it's been nagging me what how many what is the time equivalency for a cycle because if you see like for after the yeah. intro it yeah. says like 160 something cycles and i was like oh days cycles or days oh, yeah. but there's oh, clearly I more than years that. so i believe it's something close years. to years right because i'm thinking my my personal guess is that this is a cycle around the sun that even though that they're, so they're looking clever. at the sun and like Kind of like the Aztecs did back in the day or other, you know, tribes. Yeah. I'm assuming they're watching the sun and they call it a cycle around the sun is my guess. Because, but I like, like that. I like, I like his time frame. Like, I think there's like, there's, I've been here for two moons or something like that or two moon cycles. And then yeah. Which is like, um, what, two weeks. Yeah. I yeah. Think. yeah. The, I feel like, like, I don't know, like his time. whole description of time. I really enjoy it because it's like I said, it's after that, then we get into, so it skips probably a hundred years. And then we get into our protagonist story. Finally, Tao, and he's in this small village. He's training with his dad and a nobleman or young noble, his friend Jabari and seeing that friendship kind of develop. That's cool. I feel like they had a good friendship before it all 
went bad. Went to yeah. shit. At the beginning was I, I was thinking that Jabari and him were gonna just like you know bond that friendship that I was explaining in the spoiler free like get that camaraderie like they even yeah. called themselves the brother like um blood sword brothers sword brothers or something sword like brothers sword brothers yeah. And I was like, oh, this is great. I like, cause I like the little Kumari, like, you know, you have my back, I have yours, but then. Yeah. 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 Definitely. So they get attacked by the Hedini, Head and I. I'll never say it right. I don't know. But they get attacked, and <laughs> you see uh, Tao's quick thinking. He goes to Jabari, and then Jabari comes up with a good <laughs> idea. You know, I'm just going to put myself there, and my people will have no choice but to come for me. Yeah. And he does. And that I thought that was a cool little bit right there Mm because they're they're actually using their heads to try to get more people to save because if not they would have let all these people die and you know that that tells you uh, that's some world building right there Mm -hmm. uh, how one part of society thinks of the other one and then we have this big battle and Tao kills somebody and it shows how Mm -hmm. that affects him and that's such a powerful moment because he's not a killer right away he becomes a pretty bloodthirsty dude but Initially, Before, he's so yeah. innocent. This haunts him for days. And we have this big battle. It also shows us the first time we see an Enover, innovator, innovator, I don't know, the, night, the nightmare people that go like this. Yeah. And then like the magic system, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and we see that and then mixing the dragons and the Ingoyama and then how the Hedene all charge that one Ingoyama and help try to chop him down and it's just like we see so much in that battle and it's like emotionally we maybe don't have a lot of reasons to root for Tao yet because we just mm-hmm. are getting to know him so it's kind of like so, I mean I hope he lives he's the POV character mm-hmm. but yeah. you don't care enough yet but you can see who he is at least as a person yeah. what do you guys think about that big battle no I, I think that the I like the magic system introduced here but do you guys understand the magic system like you get um like the demon starts eating your flesh but like once you come back you're still one piece so is it supposed to be so psychological or is it like you can get stuck in there i think it's real and i think what this magic system has is there is people that have the ability to bring other people to another realm of reality which is this um it's got a name what was it called the yeah no anyway it's got a word it's like a parallel dimension it's like the upside down in um, in um, Stranger Things. Oh, right. Oh, oh Daniel. I think went. we lost Daniel. Yeah. No. No, no. Different, different levels of reality, and I think that people have the ability to pull other people into that other plane, and then in that plane, there's the demons. So it's like your soul is transported, but not your physical being. Okay, that makes more sense. Yeah. yeah so when I first, when, yeah. But did you guys? Um, I like the part where they talked about. Um, I think in the map, there's a map that's called the Curse. I think a part of the map in the world yeah. is called the Curse or something. And then the the savages that when they they invade like this little town, they supposedly die by the demon pill or something. Is it the demon pill or something? Like instead of getting killed by Tao, yeah. one of the, or Jabari, or one of them, they literally kill themselves. Yeah, it's the demon, um, demon curse, demon blood, demon something like that. And they just something they, with they, demon, and they just die. yeah. I think what, that happens. Things. I think you sort of like surrender your soul or your another reality to a demon, and then you die in the other realm, and then you die in, in the in the physical one. We should uh, talk about um, his name was his name Jihad. The, 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 the brother trainer. of Jabari. The, the, um... Oh, Le- was it Lekin? Oh, Lekin, sorry. Lekin, Lekin. Yeah. Oh, the uh, brother. Oh, what a piece. We should, yeah, because I, I, when I got to that point of the book, because this is like before we get to where she hits the fan, um, yeah. where he like, he's trying to take advantage of like, maybe was she like, what, 12? Around yeah, that age? it was a child. He's trying to take advantage of it, and then he gets hit, and then he he's like, oh, okay. And then you can kind of see where the nobles stand and where Jabari and his people stand. Like, I feel like that's where when they makes it clear, like, no, these people like literally don't matter. Like we can kill them. We have a bunch more, like just compiling and compiling more of them. And that, yeah. that gives you so much motivation to hate this man and want to see him die. And then, and it is so satisfying when he does. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. To lead up to the test, because 
I, I like I went in there and like how are these guys standing next to the guy that just did this like but it's it's his job but I was just like man take him one time yeah like, even if you do that you 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 get in <laughs> yeah it's yeah. <laughs> You get like a glimpse of um, how the um, like the cast system works and how terrible the whole thing is. And I, I didn't know that it, I, I wasn't expecting to go into that level of detail, the, like the, 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 the interactions of different levels of society. But it's good. It, it's it's um, it's interesting. And also, I want a lesser revolution. I want the, the people to just overthrow the, the noblemen and. In you know, in state of democracy. <laughs> yeah, and as as we go to that that test, I, I was totally looking forward to seeing Tao test, you know, right after Jabari, and then you get blindsided with this. Oh, here's this other noble son. Uh, can you can you practice with him? Oh. And then and he has a real sword, and meanwhile. You know, his is wrapped. Yeah, things and then, escalate so quickly. Yeah, and, and, and you're like, okay, well, where's this? Go? This is some weird little side thing. I had no idea it was going to be that important. Mm -hmm. And then that, of course, leads to this noble getting knocked on his ass. And then, <laughs> and then he's all embarrassed. And then the, what's his name? Uh, Asili Odili. Oh, yeah, the important guy. Yeah, he was like, oh, we don't even need to see these tests because clearly, you know, they're noble people can't even keep up with the lessers. And then from there, oh, just one thing to another. And then to where Aaron jumps in to save his son for a death battle. And it's like, at first, when he sticks up for him, you know, you think like, okay, nobody has to die, really. And then you realize as they're fighting, this is a fight to oh, the shit. death and you're like yeah. oh no and then you can kind of see it all coming together this this couple of scenes is like do you know the meme um where it's like joey and it's like normal and then it's like that that was that <laughs> yeah, that yeah. was that chapter for me i was like in a way do you guys think like i kind of felt like when his dad died like when aaron's dad Aaron's dad, when tao's dad died i kind of felt like it wasn't his well kind of his protector in a way like the one not shielding him but you know it was like i feel like if his dad was still alive he wouldn't like do all this what's going on yeah if i think you put just... it that way sorry i just this just occurred to me when you said that um if you put yeah. it that way his shield is gone so now mm -hmm. he doesn't fight with the shield he fights with two swords Exactly. <laughs> that is so cool by the way i i fucking love two sword like warriors yeah. wielding two swords and it's mm -hmm. so cool Anyway, mm -hmm. carry on yeah. <laughs> as you were. <laughs> but I thought I, I personally thought that when they were fighting and he cut his arm off, I was like, "That's going to be the end of it." Because he, the guy says he's no longer like what he's made for. Like he's dead basically because without yeah. his arm, um, without his arm, what is he going to do? So I was like, mm -hmm. "Oh, he's going to finish there." But then Tao keeps talking and Tao keeps doing like Tao keeps pushing it. He's like, and, Tao, shut the. <laughs> Shut it! Shut it! Shut it! Jabari tackled him. Like, <laughs> do something. It's like, uh. I, I think at first I was pissed off because he wouldn't stop talking. But then when he's holding his father in his arms, and it's just mm. like, I think I was like, damn. Yeah, he just yeah. lost his father. And fuck. Now, now he has to run off by himself. And then we know where he's going. <laughs> he stops by and pays a visit to a Lekan or Lekan. Yeah. And man, I I'm not gonna kill you today. Whoops. <laughs> <laughs> well, I thought he Whoops. was gonna kill him, and I feel like the, <laughs> the accident actually, in my opinion, takes away from the scene in a little bit because I would have rather guy more like I don't know, I don't know what the word would be. I would have liked the vengeance more if mm. like he meant to kill him instead of like him just dying. Oh, shoot, he just hit his head on. Oh. Oh, okay. That is a very interesting point. And you know what I think? Um, I think that was like the expected thing. And I think um, um, Evan Winter is sort of like trying to play a bit of a, like wink a bit. Um, um, you know, it's like, oh yeah, this is what you expect. But actually things in real life happen, accidents happen and you just like, you can't control your fury. Oh, okay. And I think that, yeah, from from like from when you read that, you see, oh yeah, Lekan is going to be the arch nemesis, and we're going to see a, a, a revenge arc. And I was 
such, like I was actually quite surprised and I did like that plot twist. And I think that lives way for Jabari to be the arch nemesis. I think the reason he wasn't going to kill Lucan that time is because he has all this anger, but I still don't think he's like, he was ready to kill because like the first kill person he killed, he's like, I just killed somebody. And it's just like, I love when characters start out that way because they're, they feel so human. And then mm. it's really satisfying to see them like get really, really dark in their nature. And it's just like savagery. It's just, mm-hmm. I don't know. Because uh, I, sorry to referencing Red Rising and that's what happens in Red Rising is like oh yeah the character they end up like this in the second first trilogy the second trilogy it gets dark like he he doesn't bow down to anyone he doesn't like he's just he's just chopping heads everywhere so it's just crazy but I feel like we should hit a little bit on his little romance because uh, David sent the, the little sentence in the discord where it's like mm-hmm. I could I, I honestly your first like like for example, with my wife, when I first kissed my wife, my wife is like, I could die now. Like, it was perfect. Mm-hmm. And I feel like that's what he felt too. And it's like, I don't know. I feel like that was really good of Vincent Winter to put in that little romance because it's still kind of going. Yeah. It was nice. It was nice yeah. little, I, I didn't ex- didn't know where it was going to go after. It's nice to see that it's still kind of going. But initially when he left Zuri there, I totally thought, okay, Zuri and Jabari are going to somehow get together and then Tao, maybe through some crazy circumstances, are, is going to end up with like the goddess, and they could both end up with the person the other one had a crush on, because mm-hmm. when the or the queen or the goddess, I, I keep mixing them up, but when yeah. they were shown to everybody, and Jabari was completely in awe of her, like that would have been a funny switch up. But it looks like Zuri's still very much in the picture halfway through the story, and he's still there. But we know Jabari's also in that city. <laughs> and every time Tao goes to sit with her, or the one time he did, the nobility people were like, kick rocks. And they, they basically kicked him out of there. And so maybe Jabari, who is of a higher caste, he's going to have more time with her. And so maybe it's, it'll turn into a love triangle or something. I don't know. Which will make Jabari the more hated um, by, you know, someone that is rooting for Tao, yeah. I really like the the the, the fact the, the trait that I value most in Tao is his resilience. He is consistent as f- like he. There is one like one cathartic scene I think it was um, when he says, "There's people that are stronger. Uh, uh, I'm not the strongest. I'm not um, the quickest, but I will do. I will give my everything, and that's something they don't have." And that that's and that's one when, when Tao for me just went up, up the ladder, um, because resilience, that consistency is the key to any success. It's just keep 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 at it, keep going. Human trait. That's what the human trait that makes us want to like like him more because like, well, I can see myself like if I try, give it my all, maybe I could be like this guy too. Yeah. yeah. I was gonna say to that fire anybody else up. I was like, dude, I want to put this book down and go hit the gym and try to like train. <laughs> I want to become the greatest swordsman. <laughs> <laughs> wait a minute the train in the morning train the afternoon as well and in the night <laughs> but yeah it was like one of those motivational videos i don't know if you ever see them on youtube where it's like you can look up motivational yeah work videos. Out, like motivation they'll just, yeah they'll give speeches it felt like like this book is almost motivational because the like his whole training arc as he's going through training his mindset is just so uh, good yeah, I was, I was hyped when he started winning uh, his trial because I, I did yeah. like like you. I didn't know if he was going to lose, and then he still has to just be on the run. Yeah. I didn't know what to expect. I was hoping. I was like, man, I really hope just give me the let him win and let me see him, you know, go yeah. farther. And then he does. Yeah, and you get that draw. That draw scene was pretty intense. Yeah, mm-hmm. that's I think that's another testament to um, his resilience and his perseverance. It's like it remi- it sounds super corny, but it reminds me of this Japanese saying: "You fall six times and w- and stand up seven. It's like keep going. You 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 beat into the ground and you stand up again and again and again. And that is his best trait, and that's why I like him so much. Rocky ball ball style kind of thing. Yeah, that's. It keeps reminding me of Rocky. Like, this is such a great underdog story. Like, yeah. he's training. Yeah. Everybody's bigger, stronger, whatever. One of my favorite care. motivational speeches or sentences, and I know it's corny as hell, but that beat when he goes, 
Let me tell you something you already know. The world ain't all sunshine and rainbows. It's a very mean and nasty place, and I don't care how tough you are, it will beat you to your knees and keep you there permanently if you let it. You, me, or nobody is gonna hit as hard as life. But it ain't about how hard you hit. It's about how hard you can get hit and keep moving forward. How much you can take and keep moving forward. That's how winning is done. After the test, and then he gets picked up. I think we start to see what Tao really can become because he starts training. He starts training like like how you guys were saying in the morning, the afternoon, and at night. Like he's Doesn't pounding stop. and pounding. How and hard he can get hit and that, keep going. Yeah, he becomes better than that big, big old guy. Like yeah, Udark. Ud yeah. Udark. I yeah. thirst. Big guy. <laughs> I thirst. <laughs> oh. Smash. Yeah, he he beats him. And then he he's super butthurt towards the end of that uh, 250 pages that we read. The big guy, he was sad. His feelings were hurt. That he we were, lost we the title. Crisis was, of faith. Yeah, he's like, yeah. Am I even worth like what is life? Like I've always wanted. <laughs> what is this? Yeah. And then, <laughs> but then we see the actual. We see what maybe rage can become the demon, the demon that they start talking about. Which I feel like they talk about a lot of demons, but this is an inner demon between Tao mm -hmm. and his like. The demon to keep going and we'll look for that cool foreshadowing that yeah mm -hmm. yeah the that, it'd be cool to see if like in the other world maybe he has this demon form or something that's helping him but <laughs> but yeah i like how uh udar tells you know he's like you have demons in you and he's like I, uh, tao says you have a demon in you too and he's like a smaller one and then, <laughs> <laughs> yeah and then they've got Tao's, a good banter yeah I was saying, he's like, well, don't lose it all together. Like I still, we still have to go beat these guys. <laughs> we well, need what, the fuel to keep going. I really like that, like the little um, uh, War Olympics kind of thing. Like, I, I really enjoy the games. Yeah, yeah, mm -hmm. that's awesome. I feel like it, there's a good way to balance out the action and the time between it because it's like, oh, here's the competition, so you know you're getting the action yeah. scene, and then all the training and all the going out for drinks after all that stuff can happen between yeah probably makes it easier to plot out a little bit but yeah yeah i mean it's it's been great for a bit there yeah i don't know my laptop's acting weird sorry about that no it's cool i was just wondering it was just your chair i, I glanced at the screen it was your chair <laughs> <And he appeared. laughs> oh i have to move in the i have to move the umbrella because the Sun oh, but then it seemed like he just like magically appeared like, yeah, like wait <laughs> Definitely. Do you guys think he's gonna kill them? Kill who? His friends. His friends. His like, yeah, his. Because I mean, the whole like with the revenge, it's just like sometimes they get too much caught up with the revenge and kill anybody in their way. So, do you guys think that he would kill one I, of them? I think that the only way that he will kill them is if they stand in his way, and or him in if he is in one of these episodes of rage and it's like loses control, he's like. Rah! And hacks them to pieces. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Great um, to see them, the lessers, actually beat the nobles in the little game. I thought, I was like, damn, we're only like halfway through. They're probably going to lose like, mm -hmm. or something. And then to actually see he does pull it off and Wait, messes up. What? I uh, don't the battle think... be between the lessers and the, the, the Ihashi, or I forget what the noble, the end love or whatever, in the battle game. When? Because I think it was the um, it was like the fight between different sections of the Ihashi, which is lessers, so lessers against lessers. I think basically fights. Do we do have different fight? page counts? Because I am pretty sure that hasn't happened in my. Oh, book. he has. A, wait, the, the, don't you have the hardcover, Pablo? No, I have, I have the paperback. Oh, you have the same one as I do. Yeah, I have the hardcover. Why is this a blank hole in my mind? Warriors. Yeah, and it gets the less. Is it, is it, is it in the? Is it? Like, is it called pain? Yeah, I think it's it's around there. Because I think that's right when I stopped. Okay, because I stopped at gifts. This is yeah, two fifty for me. So yeah, it would be. See, two. Yeah. That one gifts for me is two hundred and seventy three. Oh. So. Oh snap! Spoilers. <laughs> <laughs> Man, 
<laughs> well, this uh, is a spoiler well, one. Nah, it's cool. It's cool. Um, right, so they go and, and win the... Oh, that's cool. All right, I'll, I'll read that now, Oh, I guess. man. <laughs> well, so where did you stop, Pablo? Where did you stop? I stopped um, till my 257 is pain. So it's like scale J- Jayed arrives at the crag without Uduak, the big man that had tried to join his brothers, blah, blah, blah. So I think it's just like before, before that. Before they even before started, they, yeah. they started the thingy. Should we stop by chapters next time then? I think maybe no, we, we should do that. Probably yeah. a good idea. Well, it's really cool. I, I feel, yeah, that part, I feel like that's so far the best part of the book. It, <laughs> man, you didn't say that. So oh. far, so far. <laughs> Just erase that from your memory real quick and then, <laughs> then read it. Okay. I, I, I Which think, one do you uh, think? Who, who do you think is going to um, die uh, from the group? Any. <laughs> I don't know if it, if had it. I think I'm thinking had it. I'm thinking Uduak. Okay. Big boy. Big boy. And I think it's going to be like this cool like maybe saving um tau from like peril or something like sacrificing for the group mm. it's giving me those vibes those kind of martyr vibes oh anyway. that gives me an idea what if tau's not ready right and he starts to mm-hmm. see somebody like one of somebody on his list mm. and then he goes to challenge him and they see him and they challenge him and then Udwak sees that and is like no, no, I'm not going to let him die. And then he steps in for him or something and gets and killed. And dies. And that it's like all over again, like his dad. And he's like, uh, yeah. No, he you know, I so I, if we're doing like who's going to die. I feel like if Evan Winter keeps going high, I think he's going to keep going. I think he's going to be the coach. I think he's going to oh. be he's going to be the one that's like, he knows. Because I feel like in every, he's like, they, he kind of knows why he's, Tal is doing this. Because he mm. saw the thing happen at the, the first test. So I feel like he's gonna be the one if anyone to sacrifice himself for Tom. Be like, all right, I I, I live pretty well. I, I'm already like as top as I can be. Now it's your turn to take my place. So I feel yeah. like if anyone's gonna die, maybe it'd be him. Do you guys think it's also gonna be like, it's like his revenge? It starts with his father, but it's it might be with starting with his friends too. Like any of them dying, it's like that's adding to the list. Like why he's doing this? Yeah. I can see that. But I really like your guys' prediction as well, where um, Tao becomes the champion of the queen. Yeah. Because the queen does, I don't think she's chosen her champion yet because she just became the queen. That'd be pretty cool to see Tao as the, like basically the champion because it'd basically be her girlfriend, like you guys were saying. Mm-hmm. So, and then Zuri is like, oh, but you. And then it's like a like a love triangle with Zuri and the queen. Um, I don't know, might, might happen. I can't wait to see more Jabari, to be honest. Like, I really want to see where that, if the friendship's going to still be there or is it just going to just, like, all hell breaks loose again? Oh, my God, I just realized. You know what's going to happen, right? There's going to be, <laughs> like, he is, um, the Jabari is now, uh, Ihong, well, the Ihashi, but the noble one, in the in, in Dlogo. Yeah. They're gonna see, like, they're gonna either in one of the fights in one of the war games, like, they're oh. gonna be, yeah, they're gonna oh. be facing each other. Like, yeah. Tao is gonna be like with his mates, and and he's like, oh, Jabari is like right in front of me. That's what's gonna happen. I know, I know how this is gonna end now. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> They've been, they keep mentioning the queen's melee, right? Yeah, yeah. The yeah. best, the best scales fight each other in the queen's melee yes. that's where he's gonna fight jabari that's yes. gonna be Ooh, something yeah. yeah yeah and it's the underdog story because it's always been the same one the same nobles and this time that's yeah. going into it and like what's up yeah. and jabari has always whooped his ass every time <laughs> yeah. he's not ready but now for he's got two, two swords, swords. <laughs> two. <laughs> twice the chance of victory <laughs> yeah oh that's gonna Pretty be good interesting prediction. I'm fired up. Okay, guys, we need to wrap this up because I want to read. <laughs> <laughs> I'm good with that. As I said in the beginning of the video, this was such a blast and I'm having a lot of fun discussing the, the book in the in the Discord server. So if you wanna if you wanna buddy read the books with us, go on and head to the server. I'll put the link somewhere. And uh, it's just a chill environment to nerd about books.
make sure you drop a like if you enjoyed the video do subscribe for more and i will see you in the next one